How to run my MP3 UB USB player for free. Uh, original, my original interest was to use old batteries that people throw out and try to extract the last bit of energy by putting them in series and extracting hydrogen through electrolysis uh, and eventually take that hydrogen and use it to either burn uh, and cook with, but to use that energy in some way. Recently, I really started getting a lot of use out of a cheap MP3 player which plays podcasts. And we all know that we use a lot of batteries. They, they throw them out. It's a landfill problem. They, have, they try to recycle them, and they do ultimately, but still a, a waste if there's energy in those batteries. Uh, many of these batteries still have some life left in them for other applications requiring less load. But the fact of the matter is we have lots of batteries, and they're building up all over the place. And so if we can use them more, it means we have to produce less of them. Old batteries could be put in battery holders so that they, that the lower voltage outputs could be put in series and perform continued service. Although this battery is still putting out its full voltage, one could use a combination of lower voltage batteries too. This is some typical capacities of these neat little MP3 players. Just even a one gigabyte one, you're holding 250 to 500 songs. That's a lot of podcasts. And um, now there's also rechargeable batteries, NICADs. But from what I've seen, NICADs really don't have the oomph after many, many charges. They seem to um, lose their charge. So a lot of, pe a lot of people have lost <coughs> faith in... <laughs> NICADs. Um, so, um, although I have lots of NICADs, I really don't feel like um, charging up these batteries to use them. And who knows how much energy we're using for the conversion. Um, in this case, we're using an old D cell, an energizer that someone threw out with this Radio Shack uh, battery holder that I bought today for 99 cents. And uh, this should work for days and days and days. Typically, I think you're talking about 30 hours with a fresh, brand-new AAA um, alkaline battery. But I think I'll get much more than that on the used um, D-cell. Here's, um, here's an old D-cell that was only putting out 0.4 volts. But think about it. You put three of these in series, and you could run my MP3 player for who knows how long. With these players, you can download a wealth of education from public libraries. They're really neat. They have a USB port, and um, you really don't need a computer uh, for that purpose. Uh, here's a 9-volt battery that's still producing the full 9 volts. And here's another Energizer, 1.5. It's still producing its rated um, value without load. Um, Here's my hookup again that I just did today. I'm really excited about it. Here's the uh, battery holder from Radio Shack, and if you might be able to read, you can go to Radio Shack and see how to order it. This is the specs on a tri AAA battery, which this MP3 player is supposed to run on. Here's the specs on a AA, which is twice as much energy. And here's on a C cell, which is probably almost a scale of double that. And then you have the D cell, which is about 10.5 times more energy in that than a... Than a, um, a um, AAA. Here are here's some other comparisons. And what I did here is I took kind of that data. And we have how many, uh, the equivalency of AAA cells in the case of D cells, C cells, C cells, 6.75 AAA cells. So that's a, a big, big, big difference. Once again, here's my uh, used uh, D cell powering my MP3, which I'm very happy with. And uh, uh, you might want to look into getting some of these um, used batteries that people are throwing out and see, seeing if you can extract uh, even more energy out of them than uh, uh, that were being used. Uh, you need a, a voltage meter, that's for sure. But uh, there's a lot of old batteries, and they, a lot of them still have some energy in them that you could use, uh, especially with these LED light systems they have now.